hello guys thanks for watching and welcome back well today I'm gonna show you um, this is not gonna be a Photoshop tutorial at all but um, I'm gonna show you s a software that you can use if you do a lot of portrait images like face softening retouching all of that if you do that a lot then I'm gonna show you a uh, software that sometimes sometimes I use to make the face look better without use a lot of controls in uh, or, or filters in Photoshop so this software is called portrait professional I don't know if you have heard of it but if you haven't then I'm gonna show you uh, how it looks like what it does and um, basically it's an easy software that you can use to retouch the faces softening and all of that like you can see I'm gonna use this stock image but um, it doesn't need a lot of retouching or softening but um, I'm gonna use this one so first of all um, that portrait software it works as a plugin to Photoshop so you can use it with Photoshop or open this up the software by itself but I'm gonna use it as a plugin right now so we have our image it, what you need to do first is to duplicate this image control J and then go to filter and on this um, filter right here I don't know uh, Anthropic something like that uh, I don't know if that's the way to pronounce it so yeah and go to portrait professional and this is the new window so just choose your gender female or male so this is a female I'm gonna choose female and I'm gonna go in going to select the points of the eyes first the left eye on the screen then on the red eye the nose the mouth and now I'm gonna put, put this exactly as the eyes points of the eye like this it's easy to to follow and it's gonna save you a lot of time on um, here you have to you choose if the mouth is open or closed so it's closed I'm gonna choose closed I'm gonna put these points on the nose on the mouth everything it's kinda there so <coughs> when you have that done just go to next and if you want to move these points that's okay if you wanna if you don't wanna move them that's okay just click next so now it's gonna show show us the result but we can manipulate them so on the left side of the screen we have our original image and on the right side we have the new image the e edited one you can revert this to the original image to see how it looks like by pressing the enter on your keyboard and that's the new one that's the original if you don't like the results on the new one here you have your controls to um, revert them to original state or 
just to manipulate them. On the forehead we have 70 points or 70%. We, we can revert this to the original state by putting this to zero, like this, or move it more. So all depends on your taste, on your point of view, if it looks good or at its original state, we'll put it on zero, if you think it looks better on 50, 70, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna um, always put this to the original state because I think uh, that the original shape of the face is better than to manipulate them but sometimes these controls works very well on, on here on the jaw you have 54 uh, like you can see 54 it looks kind of good and zero that's the original state so i'm gonna put this around 30 nose i'm gonna put it on zero eyes is 14 so i'm gonna put this on zero as well mouth shape i'm gonna leave it at 18. so this is on the height height face called controls you can manipulate all the face eyes nose mouth jaw forehead or or jaw here you you have it on if you wanna turn it off just click on this button and that's off that's on on show screen control just click that and here you have all the imperfections thin wrinkles fine shadows remove pores it's clean smoothing balance hue shine skin hue all these options you have right here that you have that you can manipulate you can move at your um, preference but i don't move this at all because this software does a better job and it knows what it does if you think it, it did a horrible job then you can move all these controls but the only ones i move is the first one show face sculpt controls this is the the one i move the other ones i don't move them because i think the software know what it does but if you want to see the difference just click on this on and off button on show skin control just click on this and you can see what it did to the image so let's click it that's off so we we have this option off and like you can see you can see all these i don't know if you call them sprinkles or wrinkles or uh, pores i don't know what is this called but as uh, you can see on the on right here on the nose or this um lower eye section mm. and on this other side and if you turn this on those things gonna go away and the skin is a, a lot more smoother on the show eye control it's gonna focus on the eyes on the sharpen of the pupil pupil i don't know how you call this pronounce this and on this uh, stuff right here so let's turn this off to see what it, the difference and as you can see here's the difference of this option this is the eye with this option off if we turn this on we we see more color it caught our, our attention more because the eye is i don't know i think it looks better on the mouth and nose control you can see some shadows right here a little more visible turn this on and the mouth 
on the hair control we're not gonna turn this on or off because we didn't manipulate or edit the hair so on the skin lightning control let's turn this off and see the difference okay I see the difference on this part of the face so if I turn this on you can see some lightning right there but um let me see yeah I'm gonna turn this off no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this on because it looks I think a, lo a little better or I can move the options uh, re rely for the I'm gonna put this tutorial that's it on show picture control you're gonna see some difference on the, on the light so let's turn this off that's off and that's on so yeah if you wanna move well you have your controls on these right sides if you think that it needs to be adjusted then go ahead do your job but I think this software does a good job the only controls I move options I move is this one because sometimes I like the original shape of the face and yeah so once you're happy with your results just click next and choose save and return and it's gonna close this window and go back to Photoshop and you might be asking yourself why did I duplicate my original image well you did duplicate it duplicated because all the adjustments editing and softening we did on this image is gonna be on the layer it's not gonna make another layer or whatever and you duplicate it because if you want to keep the original image to see the difference just to, by turning off this layer so yeah that's the edited one and this is the original one so you just uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this software if you like it or not and yeah I'm gonna leave a link on the description to this website of the software where you can download it it's a paid version but you can try it for 30 days or 15 I don't remember so yeah just leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this software and thank you very much for watching this video I'm not gonna say it's a tutorial because I didn't do anything else just to show you this software so yeah thanks for watching this software and if you like it don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment telling me what you think about this software and if you wanna subscribe subscribe for more tutorials about Photoshop and I don't know if I'm gonna do more videos about plugins of Photoshop. Well, this is all for today. I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye bye.